सो हे देर एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गोइंग यू द आई विल गोइंग टू गिव यू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टिप्स फॉर इंटरव्यू राइट सो इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव गिव यू द टेन रेज्यूमे टिप्स सो यू कैन चेक दैट वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो सो मूविंग ऑन टू वेरी फर्स्ट टिप सो कंडक्ट रिसर्च ऑन द एम्प्लॉयर हायरिंग मैनेजर एंड जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी सो सक्सेस इन अ जॉब इंटरव्यू स्टार्ट विद अ सॉलिड फाउंडेशन ऑफ नॉलेज ऑन द जॉब सीकर्स पार्ट सो यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द एम्प्लॉयर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द जॉब एंड द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द पर्सन इंटरव्यूइंग यू राइट द मोर रिसर्च यू कंडक्ट द मोर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द एम्प्लॉयर एंड द बैटर यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो यू माइट डिड सम रिसर्च बिफोर अप्लाइंग बट नाउ इट इज़ द टाइम टू किक यूर एफर्ट्स सो वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन स्कोर Uh, social media and the company's website for insight into a workplace culture like current projects and future goals uh, you can also run a google search to check for any recent news contact network connections who might be able to provide input right you can contact network connections on linkedin too right so if possible follow your companies of interest on facebook or twitter also to stay up to date on their latest happenings and get a sense for how they interact with the public right so the more you know about a company the better prepared you will be able to demonstrate your sincere interest during the job interview because the employer is ultimately looking for a passionate creative and productive employees right and you will communicate this to them with your company knowledge right plus if you feel confident about the company and wanting to work there this natural enthusiasm will shine through during the interview right so now talking about how to research about the interviewer so understanding who will be interviewing you is a great way to prepare for a job interview so you can search linkedin for the interviewer's profile see if they are active on twitter also so check if they have a bio on the company website because it helps to know what the person looks like right but having some background information on them can help also as well so this is our first and very most important tip conduct search on the employer hiring manager and job opportunity so moving on to the second tip review common interview questions and prepare responses so another key to interview success is preparing responses to expected interview questions first inquire as to the type of interview to expect right your goal is composing details yet concise responses focusing on the specific examples and accomplishments a good tool for remembering your rep- responses is to put them into a story form that you can tell in this interview right so how you can put them into a story like uh, i uh, so i hope you are familiarized uh, with the star method so whenever you are answer, answering interview questions with a story you want to make sure that story is well structured and the takeaway is clear right so your goal should be to give your interview all the context they need to understand like what happened while still answering the questions clearly and concisely so one way to do this is using the star method so star stands for uh, s is for situation t as task and a as action and r as result so always follow this star method for remembering your responses into a story so to prepare for responses what you can do is if you have the time you can do a few mock interviews with the friends or your loved ones so you will be the much better at answering then so you can prepare in advance for some common interview questions like what are your strengths and weaknesses uh, why are you in- interested in working for this company where do you see yourself in 5 years right so these are some of the common interview questions you can prepare in advance right so moving on to the third tip it's arrive on time of for the interview so it it is always better to arrive on or before the time of the interview right so there is no excuse for ever arriving late for an interview other than some sort of disaster so strive to arrive about 15 minutes before your scheduled interview to complete additional paperwork and allow yourself time to get settled so arriving a bit early is also a chance to observe the dynamics of the workplace right so always arrive 10 to 15 minutes before your interview whether it is online or offline so that day before the interview you can pack up extra copies of your resume or cv and reference list so if you have a portfolio or samples of your work bring this along too finally remember to pack several pens and a pad of paper also to jot notes 
so finally as you get to the offices shut off your cell phone and if you were chewing uh, like anything get rid of it right so this was our third tip always arrive on time for the interview so moving on to the fourth tip so make good first impressions to everyone you encounter so be polite and offer warm greetings to everyone you meet from parking attendant or receptionist to the hiring manager employees often are curious how job applicants treat staff members also right and your job offer could easily be drilled if you are rude or arrogant to any of the staff right so when it's time for the interview keep in mind that first impressions the ones interviewers make in the first few seconds of greeting you you can make or break an interview make a strong list impression by dressing well arriving and when greeting your interviewer stand smile and make eye contact and offer a firm handshake right so make a strong first impression by dressing well you can plan your outfit in outfit in advance like for an interview you want to dress in a neat business attire right so it's not a bad idea to even dress more professionally than you would do on the job right so slacks and a nice shirt can be appropriate for men and also for women can also consider a dress like right so pull everything out and ensure clothing fits and is not wrinkled right set out any accessories and shoes also so this will allow you to simply grab and go on interview day right right so moving on to our fifth most important tip it's remember body language and avoiding bad bad habits so while the content of your interview responses is paramount poor body language can be a distraction at best or a reason not to hire you at a worst right so effective forms of body language are smiling eye contact solid posture active listening and nodding right so be aware of what you are communicating through your posture and stance and make sure it's good for example like uh, sitting with your arms and legs crossed sends a message that you are a closed off or feel defensive right so think your movements through ahead of time so you are not distracted during the interview right so let's say if you are on a video think about how you will show that you are actively engaged in that format putting you can put the zoom video near your camera so you are not like, uh, looking away from your interview right for example or making non verbal gestures or expressions to show that you are listening without cutting off their microphone right so always be aware of what you are communicating through your posture and stance right so this was all about our fifth important tip so moving on to the sixth important tip it's ask insightful questions right so studies continually show that employers make a judgment about an applicant's interest in the job by whether or not the interviewee asks questions so thus even if the hiring manager was thorough in his or her discussions about the job opening and what is expected you must ask a few questions right for example you can ask if i am hired what are the three most important things uh, you will want me to accomplish during my first 6 months at the company right so second question you can ask is what are the biggest challenges of this job so third question you can ask for example like what kinds of people fit best with my with the company culture right so this type of question you should ask right right so why we should ask this type of questions like we asked if i am hired what are the three most important things you will want me to accomplish during my first 6 months at the company so why should we ask this question because having this as one of your questions to ask in an interview shows confidence right as you are clearly looking ahead to what you will do in the position second it shows that you know the company is hiring someone right because it has a need and that you believe you can fill it right so that's why we should ask this type of questions like now how uh, we ask how do you see your team's growth potential over the next 3 years so so this type of question also allows the hiring managers to project ahead like uh, like and hopefully the hiring manager will, will include the candidate in his or her projections right so always ask some insightful questions at the end of the interview right because most interviews will wrap up with do you have any questions for me right and you should absolutely have some questions so moving on to our final tip it's thank interviewers in person by email and post mail 
so as you have already seen from previous tips common courtesy and politeness go far in interviewing thus the important of thanking each person who interviews should come as no surprise so start the process while at the interview thanking each person who interviewed you writing thank you emails and notes shortly after the interview will not get you the job offer but doing so will certainly give you an edge over any of the other finalists who did not bother to send thank you notes right because in addition to prepare for an interview there are some steps you can take post interview to help your chances of getting hired right because a simple thank you note to your interview could show your dedication to earning the position and give you the edge you need to land the job right so now i will post one thank you note or guideline in the comment box you so you can check in the comment box and you can frame it accordingly accordingly as you right so after editing it you can send it to, to your recruiters or uh, recruiters email right after your final interview so this is all about seven most important interview preparation tips right so if you like the video do share and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for being here so you can check the template in the comment box don't forget to check it out